doing it in so many different ways. You know, we've been saying that a lot, but it, it continues to ring true. You know, last night was just a huge offensive explosion with the long ball and, um, you know, tonight was was pitching and defense and, you know, a couple of really big at bats and big spots off a really good pitcher. So um, just an, another another really good win um, by the guys doing it a lot of different ways. I felt like he kind of was empty in the tank a little bit there in those last few hitters where he was working pretty hard. So, but I thought he was really sharp today. Um, you know, other than that leadoff walk to Springer, that's what I got on him about for kind of having to come out. But he was, I thought he was terrific. Is he worthy of serious all-star consideration oh, in your mind? absolutely. I mean, I don't have to, I shouldn't have to beat the table for that. I mean, you look up at the scoreboard and, or pick up a stat sheet or look at any number you want. Um, he's been great. Are there any of your starters that you wouldn't? No, I think they all five of them can go. <laughs> Just roll them out. Ten pitches each. <laughs> that was his fourth star. You can see he's got it. Why do you think he matches up well against that? I think he's executed. You know, JMO usually is, you know, it can be tough for lineups that are left right, you know, because he's, he's, he's pretty tough against left handed hitters typically. Um, but I think just having another gear this year um, and, and being able to incorporate sinkers with the slider, it's helped him against righties, but still has a, a lot to, to, to feature to lefties too. So um, I think he's just happened to really be on top of his game, which he needs to be against a team like that and an offense like that. This is your second really long winning streak of the season. Besides the obvious, why is this team you know, well suited to putting together hey, these types hey, of streaks? I would say the obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they, they love to they love playing with each other. They love coming to work with each other and preparing and, and all the things that go into and then going out and playing the game they're they're having fun playing it they're relaxed um, but they're incredibly focused on walking through those doors and how can we win a game today and I know I keep saying that but they've they've embodied that yeah are there any similarities between those two in terms of approach or what you see from hitters reacting to their stuff any, anything similar they both have the ability to break a lot of bats. You know, Clay with his sinker to righties, obviously. Obviously, Mariano made a living doing that against left handed hitters with the cutter in on the hand. So uh, I'm, sh I'm sure they keep the bat industry uh, gamefully employed. To see, I mean, you, you mentioned Mariano's cutter. To see Holmes do it with one key pitch, the sinker, yeah. I mean, does that make it even more? Yeah, impressive? I mean. Uh, don't sleep on his slider, though. The slider's a really good pitch for him. But, but yeah, I mean, typically, you know, elite closers, elite back-end pitchers, um, you know, typically there's a calling card pitch that makes them pretty special. And, and obviously for Clay, it is that sinker.